Okay, uh, we're now going to go through the wallet page um, and just describe everything I can within this tab next to your settings, wallet. Right, so just to quickly run down what is everything. We've got Steam, Steam Power, Steam Dollars, Savings, Estimate Account Value, and your history. So this is me, currently. Um, Steam Value is looking a bit low. My overall account is down a bit. We've dropped a lot. It was uh, over 12,000 last week. That's what happened. So that total will fluctuate depending on the value of Steam. <clears throat> Right, so Steam and Steam dollars are currencies. Okay. Rather like, let's say, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic sure. created two. So that was from a fork? Uh, no, that was intentional right from the beginning. Um, the reason being, do Steam dollars are pegged to the dollar. They fluctuate. Currently, it's around one dollar three cents. It can go up to one dollar fifty. It can go down to fifty cents. But the idea is, is that it's usually around a dollar. So, if you are looking to sell something for a particular amount of steam, you would want to sell it in steam dollars, as not to be affected by the movement of steam, which is much more extreme. So, steam can, you know, I've seen it go from seven cents to two dollars fifty. Mm. So. To advertise something for sale in Steam would be a bit dangerous because your price is going to fluctuate so much. Hence, the two currencies, one pegged to the dollar and one not. Now, both of these are instantly transferable out of the platform. To the right of your total, there is a transfer um, tab. So, if I want to move my Steam to another account, say I wanted to send you some Steam, I go to transfer to, add your username there, so instead of a long-winded number like most of the other uh, coins have, you would just add the person's username, mm. the amount of Steam you want to send them, and the memo is just the public record for identifying it, so you could write whatever you want, gift, I would write gift. Gift to Cliff, um, whatever, just as a record of why I'm sending you the money, and that would be logged on the blockchain. Um, Steam Dollars is the same. You can instantly transfer Steam Dollars to a friend um, or indeed out to a market where you would then trade that Steam or Steam Dollars for Bitcoin, at which point you would either invest it into another altcoin or cash out via a Bitcoin exchange shop or peer-to-peer for fiat currency. Now, would that either be um, like a cryptocurrency exchange or is there a wallet that has support for Steemit where you could do like a shapeshift or what's the simplest way you found to get the end of Bitcoin? There is, there is not an advanced shapeshift wallet uh, in existence yet. Um, the way I do it, <clears throat> so I use Bitrex. So, okay, I'm actually um, uh, on that platform. That makes it simple. Right, so let's have a quick look at Bitrex. You're on it already. Mm -hmm. So, in your wallets, on Bittrex, Steam, what's going on? <laughs> um, in your wallets, you will see a, um, come on, a plus and a minus sign next to your Steam. I've currently got 335 Steam in this account. Let's say I want to add some Steam from my Steamit account. I would copy that memo, okay, and see that the registered account name is Bittrex. So copy that, take a note of that as well, Bittrex. Go back to your uh, account here. You would enter Bittrex here. So Bittrex have a Steemit account that oh. connects them. You would enter the amount. If I'm going to do full amount, it would be that. Your memo would be that. Huh, okay. Now, in fact, I've actually just done this wrong because th I'm working in Steam dollars here. So, in fact, I would that's the wrong uh, the wrong one to do. So, I would need to look up SBD. Steam dollars. Steam dollars. Oh, sorry. At which point, I would click the plus sign there. Um, I would get my memo for 
steam dollars and that would go in to so this account steam dollars if i'm transferring steam dollars you've got to make sure you get the right memo for bitrex to accept those steam dollars so that is now the correct memo for steam dollars so you would submit that so there's steam and steam dollars are the two different tokens right they are two different tokens, completely different. So it works the same way. Like, let's say if I want to send Steam to Bittrex, I go to transfer, I put Bittrex, put Bittrex. And the memo, and then the full amount. Yes. Okay, got it. Yes. Perfect. That then goes to your trading account where you would sell your Steam for Bitcoin or Steam dollars for Bitcoin, at which point, you know, your Bitcoin is available to you to either exchange for an altcoin or cash out. All right. Just for those of you uh, still focusing on this marketplace, the uh, once you've got the Steam in your wallet, you click on the Steam icon, which takes you to the marketplace. You can see the current value. It's not looking too good. Um, say I want to sell. It's currently saying I have naught available. I don't know why. It's taking a bit of time to load. But that should say the amount of steam you have there, at which point you would click the amount. I always go for last price, which tends to be slightly higher than the bid or the ask, and sell. It may take a while. It, last time it took about four hours because the market was crashing when I sold. So it took about four hours to sell, but it did sell. And then uh, that'll pop up in your Bitcoin wallet at which point you can then choose what you want to do with your Bitcoin. So just quickly, let's go back to uh, the this page. Right, um, savings is like a bank. It's a bit silly. Uh, you can save your money in there and ultimately what it does, it delays the, so when you want it back, I think you've got to wait three days before it comes back. I'm not exactly sure why anyone would put money in there I guess if you're saving for a new car or whatever you would just put the money in there so you know you're not spending it or powering it up so I don't use that I don't think many people do to be frank um, steam power now this is really key so at the bottom of every article you have an option here 100% power up default 50 50 in fact that that is your default so you need to adjust that if you want to change the system what that means, 50-50, is that you will be paid for your work in Steam Power and Steam Dollars. So you will collect 50-50 of each. Now, Steam Power is important because Steam Power is ultimately exactly the same as Steam. It is Steam, but it is locked into the platform. Um, if you want this Steam back, to get it back, you click power down, and once a week, for 10 weeks, you will get 10 equal payments paid back into your Steam account, at which point you can then transfer that one-tenth of your total holdings out. So it takes 10 weeks to get all of your Steam out of Steam Power back into Steam, where it's then transferable out of Steamit. The reason why everybody aims to power up their Steam into Steam Power is because the more Steam you have held in the platform, the more your vote becomes worth. Oh. So it fluctuates again with the value of Steam. My vote is currently worth around $1 based on that 5,300 Steam. Do I want to make any modifications <coughs> right now? Do I want to do Power Up or do I wait until I get some Steam in? If your intention is to hold the money have faith in your currency, which I would strongly suggest you, you do, then if you do ever see any steam pop into that, power it up, which will just send it to steam power. Um, your steam dollars, frankly, are not doing much sitting there as steam dollars, and you're better off selling that for Bitcoin on the internal marketplace and buying steam. Uh, it is very tempting to click convert to steam best to avoid that because the exchange rate uh, on this internal system is not great better to sell it for Bitcoin and buy steam
Uh, you can use the internal marketplace as well. So there's an internal marketplace within Steemit to buy and sell Steam. Um, I'm not going to go into the marketplace quite yet. I think let's just stay on the wallet. So we've covered Steam, uh, Steam Power. The advantage is curation, basically. Your upvote becomes worth more, so your rewards become worth more. Okay. So if you place an upvote on an article that then goes on to make lots of money, if you've given more, you receive more back. I see. Simple as that. So the more you can give, the more you can get back. That's why a lot of the people with a you know, decent figure there, like 50,000 Steam, will spend their time curating because their vote is worth so much that they can really make a difference to a post and then re-steam it through their network, which will push the value up and they make money from their generous upvote. Mm. This is a log of all the transactions that happen. Now, you can see up here it says I've got a current reward of 0.707 Steam Power. Now, this was from curation. So, my upvoting other people has accumulated this quantity. When I click Redeem Awards, it takes up to about 30 seconds to register, but ultimately I'm transferring that quantity to my steam power total so that's it that's the wallet steam steam power steam dollars savings i think you can forget about estimated account value just tells you vaguely what it's worth against the dollar oh there's one other thing worth mentioning this is based on a seven day average it is not tied to the market in a in a live feed so it kind of softens the blow of a crash you don't feel it quite as bad uh, but what I've seen since since the the value crashed, it's you know this number is gradually creeping down and down every day. Um, do not be alarmed, my friends. It will come back up. Do not cash out. It will come back up. If there's one thing I've learned in trading, it is hold if you can. Right there we go. So that steam power, my curation reward has now been added to that figure to my steam power. So that's it. Get as much steam power as you can. If you need some money, click power down. It'll give you a one, one tenth of your total steam power will be paid weekly into that. You can then cash that out once a week, if that be your desire. And that's it. That's the wallet.